going on everyone? It's been about two months since I did a video telling you all about what projects were currently on my craft table so I thought that I would do another one because I've made quite a few new things that I wanted to share with you all. Also just a heads up, I have a cold right now so I'm double sick so if I don't seem very energized during this video that is why. So the first thing that I want to show you all is da da da! I finished this crochet bag. I was halfway through doing it in the last video and I hadn't yet lined it. So let me show you the lining. I lined it with this gorgeous thrifted orange fabric and also I made some little pockets in here. Um, there's like a bigger one for a phone and then I made some smaller ones that can just like hold a little lipstick or something like that. And then I also added a nice long strap so that it sits just like over my shoulder like this. And I added a little button closure. This little, uh, has this little like wooden rabbit cut out on it. It's really cute. I don't remember where it's from. I think it is from a thrift store or from my grandma, something like that, but it's very nice. This is without a doubt um, my favorite thing that I have crocheted. It's also just such a good size. I took it with me on a beach adventure just been taking it out and about with me when I need to take like maybe like a cardigan as well as just stuff for the day. Such a good size. I really love it. So happy with it. Again, it was from a free tutorial um, and I'll leave that in the description box below if you want to make one for yourself. After I made that crochet bag, I made another one. I got a bit obsessed with making crochet bags. This one is made from one, two, three, four, five granny squares with this flower that is made from a popcorn, I think that's the name, a popcorn stitch. This is something that I saw on Pinterest. I'll try and find the link to a tutorial for it. But basically what you do is make up five granny squares, sew them together in a box shape. So like you're sewing together a cube without a lid. And then you kind of like squash it to make this shape and then just add some straps. And I also lined each square as well. No, I didn't. And I also lined the bag as well by basically making um, five squares um, and then shoving it inside and stitching it in. And I also added pockets in here as well. Fun fact, the gray material here is from um, a pair of Luchi's old pajama pants. And these orange pockets are from old shirts and these are just some old fabrics as well. Cause I like to use every fabric that I possibly can. I think it would go well with a, a granny chic outfit of maybe like a long vintage dress, cute brogues, maybe a sun hat, an umbrella. Well, hi there. Ella heard me talking to myself and decided that she needed to come and join me. Hi everyone. Okay. So in the theme of bag making, I then also made this fanny pack. So I really just wanted to make a fanny pack because I found this really, really cute floral fabric from a thrift store and it was only a dollar and there was just like it was like a small square and I was like that's enough to make a bag out of surely but like a small bag so I landed on fanny pack or bum bag if you live elsewhere where fanny means a different thing but this was a free pattern again and it's got these two little pockets inside which I like put my cards and like medicine in. So again, this was a free tutorial. I'll put a link of how to find that in the description box down below. But it was really easy to follow and the tutorial was broken up into like three different days of sewing, which I actually really liked. And I was like, maybe I'll try doing that on my channel, break up my tutorials a bit so they aren't massive, like 60 hour long projects. Would any of you like that? If I broke up my tutorials into like, Sewing day number one, sewing day number two, sewing day number three. Anyway, that's how this one was structured and I actually did it in three days, which was really fun. And I love this. I wear it freaking all the time. <laughs> Bring back the fanny pack. So exciting news um, as well. I got a new sewing machine. I'm actually um, going to be a Benina ambassador for the next two years. So they have loaned me their Benina B380, just had to look over there and see what machine it was. Oh my gosh. I've never ever used a like fancy sewing machine in my life. I mean, it's like, like it's pretty top tier, not the toppest top tier, but pretty top tier sewing machine. A lot more 
professional than the one I was using, even though that was a great machine. And oh, it's like sewing through every material that I sew is just like cotton. It just turns every material into cotton. It's so easy to use. It's got so many different stitches. Oh, it's got a knee lever. I don't know how I ever lived without a knee lever on my sewing machine. So the knee lever, for those of you who don't have one, um, it lifts the presser foot up and down, which just gives you so much control. You don't have to get that awkward arm around the back to be lifting up the presser foot all the time. And it just gives you really fine control when you're trying to place your fabrics underneath. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, um, as you can tell, I'm very excited. They are not paying me to promote it right now. I just am very excited to be working with Benina because they're a freaking nice company. They've been so understanding of like my limitations and stuff um, with my health and working around that and really encouraging of me and supportive. And so not only do I love their machines, I love them as a company. And yeah, you'll hear more about me talking about Benina in the future, but <laughs> for now, <laughs> Let me show you another thing I made. So I made this little pouch for my crochet tools because they were kind of just all over the place. And I wrote this little label for it, which I like a lot. It says crochet tools. And basically this is just a normal standard zipper pouch um, with some pockets inside to hold like the different um, hooks and stuff, like little thin pockets so that I can have ones of different sizes together. Yeah, it functions pretty well. I, yeah, I sewed this up in like an hour after I first got the machine because I was just so excited to try it out and try out all the stitching features and also, since I discovered the um, alphabet function, I have been making like little handmade clothing labels for all of the clothes that I've been making, which brings me to the next item. So do you remember how I was making, in the last video, I was making um, a pink top with bishop sleeves? Well, I finished it! <laughs> so this was kind of like the prototype. I made it out of this fabric that actually wasn't very nice. It's like a jersey fabric, but I thrifted it and it's really stiff, um, which isn't very comfortable. So that being the prototype was more like checking the fit and stuff. I still wear it because it's pretty cute, but I made like a proper version out of this really gorgeous pink knit fabric. It's more like, it's more like sweater fabric and <laughs> This is what I was talking about before. I added a little tag, of course. It just says Annika Victoria 2018 because I'm a dork and I'm pretending that I have my own fashion label. I don't know, I'm like, if I take this to the thrift store one day, then someone can be like, oh, this is handmade. Oh, look, it's got a name there of the person who handmade it. And I just think that would be quite nice. But I cropped this one more than the other pink one. And um, I was actually wearing it back in the video uh, where I made that rainbow bag. And a um, final little thing that I did, kind of, it worked out all right. Um, uh, maybe not there, just don't look at that one. Um, on the new sewing machine, it's got all these decorative stitches, um, including these pretty love heart ones. So I did love hearts around the cuffs um, on the wrist which I really like how that turned out. And here is one of the last things um, that I made. This is actually a present for my friend who loves both bears and makeup. And I hope I will have actually given this to her by the time this video is up, because I don't want her to see it. Um, if not, I'm forbidding her to watch this video until I have. Anyway, she uh, works at at a makeup store, so she has a lot of makeup to her name. Um, so when she goes traveling, she needs to take a lot with her, hence the big size of the makeup pouch. Um, so what I actually did was I crocheted this bear. I vaguely, vaguely followed a pattern that I found on Pinterest. I'll try and grab the link if I can find it. Um, but then kind of the ears are a bit lopsided because I just kind of made them up, but I think it actually worked out really well. It only took me about an hour to crochet this little bear and it's really cute. This brown floral fabric is, um, I actually cut up a pair of pants that I made out of this fabric, uh, which was originally thrifted because I just didn't wear the pants at all. They didn't fit that nicely. Um, and then I added these pockets at the back these two little pockets, cool. And on the inside, I used this lining fabric, which is also bears. I think I got this fabric from Yuzawaya in uh, Japan 
on one of my visits there. Look how cute they are. Some are wearing little bow ties. Uh, but I really hope she likes it. Um... works in progress which I'm gonna show you right now. One of the works in progress is uh, not turning out so well. I've been trying to make a pattern for a duster jacket and this one is like my first attempt. Um, I'm just made it out of this like plain linen-y fabric but I think that I made May, may have made the arms too big, the armholes. Something isn't working here. Maybe the fabric's too stiff. Something isn't working that well here. Um, and it looks a little bit like a lab coat. <laughs> so I do need to make some adjustments to this. I am hoping that I might even be able to release it as a pattern one day once I get it better, add some ruffles, develop it a bit better. And I want it to be able to be made in a fairly wide range of fabrics, so I'm trying to like just get the fit right so that if you're using a stiff fabric it's not gonna like stick out at the shoulders and look really bulky and weird. So, work in progress. If this particular garment doesn't uh, totally work out, I think I'm just gonna turn it into like a dressing gown. Um, just make like a little belt for it. Maybe add some ruffles on the sleeves. It'll be a cute dressing gown. If all else fails, turn your projects into pajamas. <laughs> and this is... this is actually very much almost finished. The only thing that I've done is sew on one of the seams backwards, so I have to unpick it and then restitch it, but it's almost finished. So do you all remember um, a couple of months ago I uploaded a video on turning this design into this top and dress? <laughs> well, I wanted to make a little modification on that design and add sheer sleeves to it um, and also add some darts. Oh, I also added like a little button closure in the back, but this is the garment thus far very almost done yeah it's very very cute and it's just turning into spring here and i think it's the perfect little spring top i also want to make shorts out of this fabric to make a matching set because i think a matching blue gingham set would look really hella cute so yeah they are all of the things that i have been working on the past couple of months with my new sewing machine um Things are so much quicker and easier to sew and it's also just helped me like revitalize my love for sewing as well so I've been doing lots of sewing projects and really enjoying it. Still loving doing some crochet as well, that's been fun. Um, yeah, what have you all been up to the last couple of months? I would love to see what you've been making. By the way, the Make Thrift Try Challenge um, is finished for now and um, I am about to film the video where I go through them so that will be one of the next videos that is uploaded. Your entries have been amazing like I think there's been some like 400 entries or something I don't know how I'm gonna choose ones to showcase like it's just gonna end up being I think a two hour long video because you're all too brilliant. Um, I'll try and cut it down but it's gonna be hard because you're all amazing. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're having a nice day and from me and Ella she doesn't like being picked up she's like hey we're sleeping there. We say goodbye. We will say goodbye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, she's going back to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and Coffee for making this video possible. To support these videos so that I can keep on making them, go to co-hofenfi.com forward slash Annika Victoria for a one-off donation or to support me on a continual basis, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Even if you can only give $1 a month, that is extremely helpful to ensure this channel keeps running.